Morning Tri-State, will a promise translate into reality? As Donald Trump is taking off, as Tri-State residents want to know if he'll make good on a promise to fix the Brent Spence Bridge. A heated topic of interest as thousands drive over it each and every day. WCPO.com transportation and development reporter Pat LaFour digging into the issue. His plan, what is it if he has one? And to me off camera, it's ambitious. It is ambitious, and um, so there's no official plan yet. Um, we don't expect to see uh, any sort of specifics or official announcement of a plan until later this year. But um, over the past few months, lawmakers and uh, President Trump himself have been dropping some hints. Um, it's going to hinge upon what are known as public-private partnerships, or P3 deals between government agencies and uh, private firms asked to come in and invest in these infrastructure projects like the Brent Spence Bridge. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just how are you going to pay for it, correct? That's right. And so uh, President Trump has offered the idea of offering roughly $140 billion in federal tax credits to companies that would be willing to invest in projects like the Brent Spence Bridge. And then remind me again, how much would it cost to rebuild, refix, do whatever it is they're going to do? Right. So the current proposal now is to build a second bridge right next to the Brent Spence Bridge and then widen interstate lanes as they approach uh, the river. Uh, it'll come in about two and a half billion dollars. Very expensive. Uh, from the standpoint of, we saw earlier, we reported on Good Morning Tri-State earlier this week that politicians on both sides of the river are starting to feel pressure to get something done, to move towards this. What type of pressure is that and, and how much will that impact the outcome of finally getting this thing done? Sure, so both states transportation agencies have um, estimated that for every year that the Brent Spence Bridge and corridor goes unaddressed, it costs between 70 and $80 million to or for the taxpayers. It's getting more expensive the longer we wait, right? That's right. So that's, that's kind of the pressure that they're dealing with right now. All right, Pat, we appreciate it. Thanks. His article's up and running right now on WCPO.com. Thanks, Chris.